Ben, say hi to the vlog. Hello there. Hi, vlog. I got done at the co-working space. It's Sunday, so just wanted to touch base with Ben on a project that we're working on. Wanted to get ahead on some of the marketing plan for the new business, and uh, yeah, I wanted to, wanted to take Sunday to, I guess, get ahead a little bit. It's a really good opportunity to do so. It's still storming and rainy in Nashville, hence the jacket. Got some at-home chores to get done now, but we're gonna get back into the week and uh, yeah, try to film everything again. So, welcome back. All right, so we are back at it. It's Monday, I just got off a Really good meeting, uh, it was about 50 minutes long. The last week we've been kind of creating this funnel of all the ideas we've had for branding and our website design and so on and bringing it down and narrowing it down to just one or two options so we can begin the process of building our website and of course integrating all of our branding. We're talking about some client projects that we are currently onboarding so yeah, it's really hectic, really good morning. I didn't film a bunch this morning but yeah, it's Monday and truthfully I I love Mondays. You know, I think the energy around Mondays is like not always great, but I love them. I love a nice refresh. I love a good start to the week. And I love, you know, kind of creating that energy as we move into the week. Yeah, it feels good, feels great. As I mentioned yesterday, I got a membership to a local co-working space. They have them all over here in Nashville. Yeah, I just kind of came to this conclusion that I really needed to get out of the house a few days a week. So the membership's super reasonable for unlimited access. It's only like a hundred bucks a month. It's only like my third time going, so it's still like exciting and new and they have unlimited coffee, so you already you already know that I'm abusing that. I have two more meetings that I'm gonna take there at the co-working space, have a few documents and uh, accounting stuff I need to take care of today. It's the end of the month, so I try to wrap up, you know, financials and finance stuff at the end of the month and, you know, just stay on top of it, so I'm gonna dive in on that and then I have a few cameras that I have to ship today. But, uh, which reminds me, I actually really want to show you guys, I'll show you later, but our new shipping envelopes. We just got the new cameras in stock, so everything's back in stock on the, on the KIPP website. But, yeah, it's exciting. Uh, I'll unbox some of those later and show you the packaging and stuff. I'm really jazzed on it. I'm gonna head to the co-working space. I'm gonna get all that stuff done and then, uh, come back. It looks like the sun is gonna finally come out after days and days of, we got hurricane storms here in Nashville, so sun's supposed to come out. I'm gonna try to get a bike ride in and, yeah, just be as productive as I can. It's Monday, you know, the stoke is high and, uh, it's time to get back after it. As you just saw, it is now Wednesday. The week has been, um, not gonna lie, the week's been a little monotonous and tedious. And um, so our lead designer got our website over to us. So it's been a lot of just like really dialing in branding, really dialing in a lot of our copy for our website and dialing in kind of how we want it to look and feel. As I mentioned, yeah, it's just been really tedious, really monotonous and yeah, I was hoping that the week and the things I was sharing would be like a little bit more exciting. Uh, this week so far, but as I promised, I wanna show you the new Kif stuff. Kif is a brand that I've had since 2019, so it's hard to it's hard to backtrack and share things as I'm learning because I've been doing stuff with Kif for so long that um, it's kind of, in some respects, a well-oiled machine or it's, it's just been moving for so long. So it's kind of just showing you guys like new things and new directions for it, which obviously we relaunched kind of with new products and stuff earlier this year. Yeah, I figured, you know, this is just, um, exciting stuff because you know it's changing and it's moving and so yeah we just got our new bubble mailers that's these guys they're nothing crazy you know just first time doing branded stuff with custom colors and with our colors so yeah i just wanted to share that they're pretty exciting so this is how your kif cam will come in the mail and even more importantly, we just got our second production run of Kif cams in stock. I'm really jazzed on these boxes. As you might be able to see, there's like a nice glare to them. That's because the box is matte and it has a raised glossed finish on the logo and on the uh, all the specs right here. You might be able to see, oh, look at that. It's beautiful. But yeah, I really want to get these boxes right and make it feel like, you know, a, an experience when you get it in the mail. It's a sweet little magnetic box, you know? Cl kind of clasps open, voila. Memories in motion, forever on film. That's our little slogan for the KIF cam, so yeah, I love it. I'm really jazzed on these. Um, how nice is that? Nice little, oh, it's so satisfying. 
Ooh, that's so satisfying. Anyways, yeah, I just wanna show you these. We just got them back in stock. So we were out of stock for like a month and a half. There were some issues with one of the suppliers and one of the uh, suppliers for the boxes. So it kind of put a delay on some things, but we finally have them back in stock. I'm really jazzed that people just wanted to be a part of KIF and everything that we have going on. So if you pre-ordered one, thank you so much. Um, I hope you, you love your new KIF cam and um, I can't wait to see what uh, kind of adventures everyone gets into with them. So that's it. That's the, that's the KIF cam. Look at that box. I love just bringing this thing around with me everywhere. Honestly, it comes on all my trips with me and I love just being able to pull it out of my bag, turn the flash on if I need to and snap a photo. And you know, obviously progress to the next photo, but there's no like on switch. There's no wondering if the settings are right or whatever. So yeah, it's fun. It kind of just, you get to wait and be excited about film getting developed and stuff. And um, I obviously love like my Nikon and Canon film cameras as well, but I just love being able to whip this thing out of the bag and, and shoot. So. Um, those are keep it fun updates. I need to get back to work on finishing up all this branding stuff. Um, it's been kind of lingering a lot longer than I thought it would this week, which is fine, but I really want to get it done. Last week I had a couple of tips and tricks in the video on why I, why I like LLCs. And this week I kind of want to do the same thing, but with branding and offer a couple of tips and tricks and, um, you know, while it's fresh on my mind and while we're going through it in this new brand, I thought this would be a really cool opportunity to offer like I said, a couple tips and tricks, and uh, yeah, so that'll be later on later on in the video. Hello, I lost <laughs> my <laughs> AirPod case on the plane. No. Yeah, Thursday, 822. It's been a really, really chaotic week. This week has made me realize that there's a lot of monotony, of course, in this stage of the business, and um, you know, I wanna make sure these videos are, are exciting and engaging and, and valuable, so I'm trying to really figure out how to make those pieces um, exciting and so on without it just being clips of me at a desk talking to my teammates and whatnot. So so we've created these deadlines for ourselves that are pretty harsh, guys, and and, um, and that's just so we can get this thing going and get this thing out and not overthink it and not you know take forever to, to get our MVP or our V1 uh, for this website out. We know for sure what kind of services we wanna offer, you know, what our client base looks like. Right now it's just getting that V1 kind of great, but not perfect to get out, if that makes any sense. So we've been really aggressive with our timeline and just since Monday until now, we've gone from finalizing a bunch of branding to getting our V1 to making all the comments and, and uh, you know, updates and so on to um, our goal is to have a website ready to launch in the next day or two and then from there we're going to refine everything and make adjustments and so on but we really just need a place for people to land on so it's 9 56 p.m uh here in nashville on thursday night and i'm going to pick up ben from the airport ben and i don't get to spend a ton of time together uh anymore we were both living in colorado at the same time for a bit but now i'm living in nashville and he's actually living in austin so so yeah i'm, I'm stoked to stoked to see him Hey, buddy. Hello. What did you lose on the plane? My f***ing soul, my <laughs> dignity, and my f***ing AirPod case with a little leather f***ing case on it. <laughs> It is now Friday, and Finn and I have been at the co-working space for a few hours now. Is this him? It's a party, it's a party, it's a party. Some really great meetings with the new partners this morning and had a meeting with a local creative here in nashville we're hoping to team up on some of this content so um yeah that was really great i'm really jazzed but we're going to get food you want to go get food <laughs> i am starving what do you want Chipotle. we are gonna go get matching tattoos october past maybe <laughs> all right so if you watched last week's video you know that i did five kind of tips and tricks or reasons that I like LLCs. And this week, since it's fresh on my mind, and since we're kind of going through the motions or the process of branding, I want to take this part of the video and kind of offer my few tips and tricks, things that we thought about while we were going through this process. And like I said, it's fresh on my mind, so I thought this would be a really cool opportunity to go over this little list and uh, yeah, just explain kind of how we go through this process. I'm in this like meeting room as well right now, so I apologize if the audio is a little Echoey. The first point is uh, writing a clear vision and mission statement. Your mission statement tells everyone why your company exists and what its core purpose is. It's kind of like the foundation of your brand and it should resonate with your team 
and your audience. Your vision statement, however, is a little bit different. This is your, your long-term goal for your brand. It's supposed to be this guide for your team and your clients and kind of show people where you're headed. Number two is identifying core brand values. With this, you want to define all the values that your business stands for. This will, of course, help you attract like-minded clients and team members who, um, you know, resonate with your ethos. Number three. So you're going to want to create a distinctive brand voice for your company. And this, of course, will match your values and appeal to your target audience. Whether the company is playful, formal, adventurous, your voice should be consistent across all of your, all of your communication. Number four. This one is researching the industry and any competitors. This will help you understand your industry's landscape and learn from your competitors. What are they doing right? How can you stand out? This, of course, will help you build a brand that is uniquely positioned in the marketplace. Number five, design with intention. I love this part. You know, this is where everyone can get their minds together and get creative and, and build something really beautiful. This is where you can develop a strong visual identity by choosing the right fonts, the right colors, and of course, the logo. These should, of course, evoke the emotions and the values that your brand represents and, of course, make a lasting impression. Number six, create a mood board. This is a fun exercise and you can even do this before the last step, but create a mood board that visualizes exactly what you have in mind. Visualize the brand by compiling images, textures, colors, inspiring fonts, and so on that reflect the brand's personality. This, of course, will help bring your new brand to life and, and it gives a clear direction for, for design choices. Last but not least for today is number seven and that is building your online presence. Your website and, of course, your marketing materials should be a really true reflection of your brand's identity. From the design to the messaging, you wanna make sure it's cohesive, that it's SEO friendly and that it speaks directly to your audience. So that's it for today. That's my list of seven points that I came up with that are kind of the the basis of what we're using to build our brand. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video as well, we had this crazy document of almost 30 questions that helped us really dive into what our ideas were, you know, inspiring brands, inspiring websites, colors that inspired us, images that inspired us, all the way down to how we want our brand to feel. Yeah, this is just a a fun little exercise to go through that'll that'll help get the juices flowing, I think. If you made it this far in the video, be sure to like comment any questions or ideas for this series that you think would be cool to, to hear. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more from this journey. I'm Jason Lorenz and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace.